Hello everybody, Aki here, and welcome back to To The Moon. Uh, we're gonna go talk with Neil and see if he's got anything, uh, any new plans to, um, you know, get this, uh, get this wish fulfilled. Because Johnny's being a stubborn old man right now. Uh, you know, I have respect for him, but come on. Ugh, you can smell that squirrel Neil ran o over all the way from here now. Really? Alright. Guess we head upstairs? <laughs> Yo, Neil. How's John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Thanks. Hey, Neil. Hey, there's a phone there. I just felt like saying that. Wait, which one's the kitchen again? This one. This one's the kitchen. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarter? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now shh. Can I have some coffee? But what if... Okay, I suppose so. I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh, yeah, where did you find that? I thought you shhed me. Temporarily unshushed. Okay, ain't I lucky. Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There are a bunch more of them there, and in the basement too. Ah, uh, hmm. Alright, resume she shing. I'm not sure we'll have to check on that. The last paper rabbit River gave to John. Okay. Um. So we had the platypus in the basement, and the uh, uh, the the paper rabbit in there, in the in the uh, lighthouse. So maybe those two places are what help him determine why he why or why not he wants to be an astronaut. Because obviously that lights that lighthouse probably holds a very very special place in uh um John and Rivers broken music box a bunch of Okay. Can we get the music box? No. Okay. Um, there has to be something, right? Uh, let's head to the lighthouse, maybe? Oh, the piano. Maybe that? Four River. What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. You know, sometimes the most simplest of melodies can be the most beautiful. I guess I head outside. I think I should go to the uh, the lighthouse. Better go see if Neil has any. He's on the phone. I can't do anything if he's on the phone. I guess I'll just try talking to him again. Hey Neil. Hmm. I see. I see. Right, that part we can do. Okay. Um. Huh. Maybe I interact with the machine? It's not gonna let me go to the lighthouse. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, 
let's check these out here. I, I didn't get to look at these before. A painting of a lighthouse by a cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something blue and yellow. A painting of an animal of some sort. That's a platypus. Casual paintings of three people. There has to be something that I missed around here. I know he's in the kitchen, he's making calls, but I can't talk to him. He's like, not letting me. Cause he's still on the phone talking to headquarters or something. Paper rabbit. Okay then. I have to turn on the lights. I'm gonna just go out to the uh, the cliff side again. I have to wait until Neil is done with his damn call. something let me save I haven't saved in a long time uh, notes dead rabbit pickled olives for river toy platypus oh can I present him with the toy platypus maybe I can we'll see Here, come on. Take this platypus. Not sure what we'll to check on that. Okay, really, dude? Can I get the coffee? in the study maybe I'm gonna have to cut this part out a lot yeah there we go but ma I don't want to go to school it's Sunday dear Shh, let them sleep oh the books are on the floor now I want to go look at those place book on the shelf Uh, the Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Read passage. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the great Wikipedia Origamiya as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though it may, for though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal, or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from reading of this book. Read more? Yeah, sure, why not. For the Grand Origami Master, it is absolutely essential for each for oh, for origami for each origami to be completed in exactly 42 moves. In most origami tournaments, scissor cuts are considered cheating, but uppercuts are deemed legal. Let's read this one. Uh, maybe another year, okay. I don't want to turn on the lights because that'll wake up the kitties. Do nothing. Okay. Let's head out. 42 cuts. Are there 42 rabbits? Hey, Lily. Can we talk? Lily! Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have just watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you want to ask, let me sit down first. Did you sit down yet? Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Um, let's ask about Lily. 
You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how do you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants of war widows? Grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. I'm going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. Let's talk about Tommy and Sarah. So, what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. And let's talk about the future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe he'll come back to visit every once in a while. Alright. No, I didn't want to talk to you again. I'm sorry. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be, be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Okay. This is a bathroom, right? Yeah, this is the bathroom, yeah. Okay, Neil, you better be done with your call. No, 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 I didn't want to go upstairs. Neil, are you done? Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Ugh. Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he had he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on the curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount, its impact on his memory at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out from his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies, and this should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need it to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if he, we did find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going to go out to get some fresh air. Maybe we give him the platypus. Whoa. I <clears throat> forgot my coffee. I wasn't going to drink it. Received beta blocker. Note. Okay.
It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Ava. It smells! I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at, it was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... What? He, he means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now, you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait! Why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it! Exactly. I've already done my part. Oh, you did. Oh, my mis... Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. They aren't really disposable gloves, but they'll probably change after this. Oh, I'm so sorry that we have to use your gloves to pick up some roadkill. Let's go get that roadkill. <laughs> so what are your guys' theories so far? I heard that the ending was pretty, uh, interpretive. Oh my, squirrels. Huh? Deja vu? Wait, one squirrel was like orange and the other one was dark color. So is that like a representation of River and Johnny? It could be. Let's pick up that squirrel. Come here, squirrel. The kind of things this job gets me into. Hmm. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. At least make its odor controllable. <sighs> Where are you going? I... I gotta go take a leak. There's a bathroom over there. Did I get the container? What a mess. The crash shook up everything. Let's see. Oh, right behind us. Ah, here it is. Received valve container. There's so something fell over here. Now, to get some of that dirty roadkill. Wait, pick this up. Huh? This... Painkillers? Receive contained roadkill odor. I don't want any more to do with this. Could it be that, um... Okay, so, we got painkillers. I don't know if they're empty. Um... Let's see. Oh my god. Johnny's... Johnny's almost dead. I have a feeling that, uh... Since we saw the painkillers, maybe, um, maybe something happened to, uh, Neil? It's either something happened to Neil during the crash, or, um, we used the painkillers on Johnny somehow, I don't know. Oh, hey! Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Great! Go get it set up, I'll be right back. Neil? These painkillers. I think they are yours. Hey! May I ask why you are on them? I wasn't going to tell you, but... 
Oh, this is embarrassing. A few days ago, I walked into a concrete wall. You just walked into a wall like that? What can I say? I was in deep thought. You know how deeply I think. These are some rather strong pills, Neil. And it was a rather strong concrete wall. Twas a match made in heaven, I say. Anyways, you got the roadkill, right? Let's hurry. John's dying back there. Okay, you're being really shady. Neil. You aren't addicted, are you? Are you kidding me? I'd overdose before I'd sink to that level of con contrived mess. He could be addicted. But... So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. <laughs> Alright, Act 3. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. <sighs> Sorry guys for yawning. It's still like the morning as I'm recording this. Let's go. Sheesh. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? Give me the mail. Give me the mail. Give me the mail. To think this little thing is causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it into outer space. I suppose all we can do now is send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Noise. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over from me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out! What? Get out of his memory now! What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock will permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny... Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that c contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie, and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alice there. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. Good job, Doc. Good job, Doc. Doctor? I think we're okay. For now. Whew.
And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. Yeah! And at the last Christmas party, you... Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? Funny. Alright, guys. I'm gonna end it here for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed sitting down and watching me play To The Moon. Thank you very much. Um, if you are enjoying the series, remember to always leave a like and share it with your friends that you think will enjoy it as well. And uh, yeah, um, don't forget to follow me on any of my social media sites. That would be Twitter, Tumblr, or Facebook. And aside from that, this is Aki. Have a great day, and remember to always stay safe.